Hey, what's up guys? Shadow here and welcome to uh, a Minecraft mod review. Mod review, I can't speak. Uh today I'll be re reviewing the too much TNT mod. Uh you get all this TNT, this dynamite and these uh what is it? Uh, TNT gods. Anyway, you get uh, also uranium, nuclear waste, sulfur ore, uranium ore and meteorites. So uh, this is the map, uh, the the Greenfield city map. I'll put the link to the mod, the map, and the texture pack all in the description. Uh, the map actually comes with its own texture pack, but I am using the Chroma Hills texture pack. Uh, so the link to the texture pack that I'm using will be in the description. The link to this map will be in the description, and the link to the mod will all be in the description. So um, it appears it's getting dark. We can't have that. So let's time set zero really quick. Oh wait. No, I was looking at it backward. It's coming up. I was looking at it backward. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so let's start with uh, the TNT type. Okay, so I'll grab the regular TNT to compare with the rest of the new TNT. So we have TNT times 5, TNT times 20, TNT times 100, TNT times 500, Meteor TNT, uh, Flat TNT, Mining flat TNT and compact TNT. That's the, the that's the first group here. So here's regular TNT. Um, so okay, let's do regular TNT. Just set it on. Set it, oh, whoops! I need flint and steel to light it. What am I thinking? Uh, okay, flint and steel. So let's put it there. Go back over here. Okay. So regular TNT. We need flint and steel to light it. Uh, it this some of these may lag the my uh, may lag my game out. But that's regular TNT. Now here's TNT times five. It's, it's bigger. <laughs> it's definitely bigger. Uh, now we'll do a TNT. TNT times twenty. We'll do it right in the center of this building. Right in the center. Okay. I, I'd like to get in the building, please. <laughs> okay. We'll do it. We'll do it right in this doorway. Okay. Flint and steel, light that up. TNT times 20. Okay, should take out the whole building, I imagine. Yep, took out just about the whole thing. That's times 20. Uh, now times 100. Let's do a bigger building. Hang on. What building should I destroy next? I'll destroy... Ooh. Should we destroy this good-looking building over here? With the, no, I'll save the five. I'll save that for the five hundred. I'll do the one hundred on this building here. Okay, it's starting to get some lag. That's probably because the sheer size of this map. It's probably, probably making not making it that good. Okay, geez. Uh, this the the mod I'm using is uh, particularly for Minecraft one point seven point ten, and that's the version I'm using right now. So uh, and one point seven point ten for uh, well, not not the version itself, but. Probably because I have more than one mod installed and it's kind of making it lag. I also have a, a mod for for the the doors as well. So okay, TNT times what is that? One hundred. Okay, if the game will stop lagging, so I can get out, so it won't lag me to it won't lag me to bits. Yep, it's lagging me. It's lagging me hard. Okay. That's times 100. Yep, okay. So that is times 100. That's a lot of destruction. <laughs> That's a lot of destruction right there. Okay, 500 on this big building right here. So we'll do right in the center, I think, is a good place. Probably do it. Let's see. Let's go to here. Put, place it light it up light it up up and go up because that's gonna be a lot of destruction yep it's lagging it's gonna lag lag let's get away shit phone I swear okay hey, this this music's too loud. Okay, music and sounds. Music. There you go. Ah, the lag is is real. It's really real. Okay, come on, stop lagging. Stab it. 
Okay, let's see the destruction. Yeah, my game is going to crash, baby. Hopefully not. Okay. Yeah, that one lags the game to hell. Okay. Okay, so the game ended up crashing, and now I'm loaded back in, and uh, the world hasn't loaded in quite properly. Oh my good lord! My good lord! Holy smokes! <laughs> Holy crap, that is a lot of destruction right there. I, I I don't think it made that much destruction when I was testing this mod out. Holy crap. That lagged my computer. It lagged the game to the point of crashing. Let me turn this mini-map off. It's distracting. Uh, okay, well that completely obliterated that building and that highway right there. Uh, I, no, that's not a highway. That's a train track, is it not? What is this? Is that a... No, that's a freeway. That's a freeway. Pretty sure. Uh, yeah, that obliterated the area entirely. Okay, TNT times 500. That, that... And that's not even the, the nuclear TNT. That's... I better get far away for the nuclear TNT. Uh, okay. So TNT times uh, 500. That, that was a lot. Meteor TNT will uh, drop some meteors, or... Is it one or is it multiple? I can't remember, but it drops some meteors right on the building that you put it on. Yep, there went one. Yeah, I think it just drops one. If the destruction would load in, that'd be nice. It'd be real nice if this if the destruction would uh, would actually load in. It, did that not work or, or something? This building. Okay. Yeah, that that worked all right. That, okay, that explosion was rather late. So that one kind of lags the game a little. Um, it's not loading into the destruction though. Oh, yeah, now it is. Oh my god. That's a huge meteor. That. That took out that whole building, except for that little arch. Except for that arch, it uh, took out everything. Look, you see the, the uh, what is this, a subway down there. Um, that's a giant meteor. That really is big. Okay, now we have the flat TNT, which I think will destroy everything on its level within a certain radius, I think. So let's... Oh, it got automatically got activated because of the redstone torch. That's nice. So it should, in theory, take everything out here. Yep, that's what that does. It takes out everything in a flat area like that. The mining flat TNT will do the same exact thing. However, it will spawn a bunch of torches around. So it, it, some of these TNTs are great for mining, uh, such as the flat TNT and the mining, the mining flat TNT because it spawns torches everywhere. So, as you can see, it spawned a bunch of torches, and it cleared out an even bigger area. Um, okay, so there's that There's that set of TNT. Now, what's the next set of TNT? We have the compact TNT, the house TNT, which is really cool, uh, the wood house TNT, and the brick house TNT. And then the fire TNT, the snow TNT, the ocean TNT and the, what is this, the Hellfire TNT. Okay, so the Compact TNT will destroy a, basically it's a cube, I think. I think it destroys a, a, a cubic area, I'm not sure. Um, so I believe it just destroys a cube uh, area. Oh, no, that's not what it does. That was the wrong TNT, okay. The Compact TNT explodes and spawns a bunch of t regular TNT everywhere. That's what that does. And, and it spawns fire, which should be igniting this TNT. However, it's not. Don't know what that's about. It could be lag. I don't know. But that's what that one does. I was confusing that with another TNT that does actually spawn a cubic area. I think that's actually cubic TNT, if I'm not mistaken. Cubic. Where's cubic? Cubic TNT. Somewhere, I think. Uh... Wait, 
Yeah, the cubic TNT. Yeah, that's the one I was confusing it with. Okay, the wood, the the house TNT spawns a house, <laughs> as you can guess. Spawns a house. I believe it just spawn. It spawns a cobblestone house. Yeah, it spawns a basic cobblestone house, and it's actually really cool. Gives you a crafting table and some torches. And a nice little house. Then we have the wood house TNT, which spawns a it's the same thing but wooden, and it's actually a little better than the regular uh, house TNT. Spawns a wooden house, and it gives you, as you can see, a crafting table, a furnace, and a bed. Oh, whoop! The lag, the lag is real. Uh, okay, and then now we have the brick house TNT, which gives you even more, I, I think. So, brick house TNT. We'll give you a brick house with a double chest, a bed, a furnace, and a crafting table, and some carpeted floor. Uh, and some carpet, carpeting on the floor. So that's that. Now we have the fire TNT, which I believe spawns a bunch of fire everywhere. Uh, Okay, so fire TNT is like, yep, creates a giant area of fire. That is, that literally like creates hell right there. That's a lot of fire. Okay, let's put some snow on that fire. For some reason, fire is not igniting the TNT, which it should, but it's not. Uh, okay, so there's a snow TNT, which is going to spawn snow everywhere. And it just put out half that fire. So that created snow everywhere. It creates a winter wonderland. Now we have the ocean TNT, which creates an ocean, as you can guess. Uh, so let's just put it here, I guess. It's fine. Uh, it create it spawns a bunch of squids, first of all. And it uh, spawns a bunch of water. And it creates a literal ocean. See a bunch of squids. And creates an ocean. Oh, it actually kind of replaced... Uh, Replace a bunch of blocks with water. I wasn't expecting that to happen, uh, but okay. I was expecting it to create an ocean above ground, not replace blocks with an ocean. But hey, uh, you know, all the more better. Well, now there's an ocean here. That's that's nice. Hurricane happened, uh, sorta. I don't know. Hellfire TNT, which I believe makes a nether. It spawns a nether-like environment. I believe and spawns gas and stuff. I think, um, and I think the gas. Uh, I think I have. I think the game mode is on di on uh, the game mode. The difficulty is should be on peaceful. I think so. Uh, they're probably it's supposed to spawn ghasts and stuff, so they might die immediately if uh, um, if they spawn. Ow! That hurt my ears so much. So yeah, that's that was the get. Ow! Okay. So it appears the game mode it appears the game mode is on normal so it did spawn some gas. Uh Okay, let's just uh slash difficulty peaceful to kill all those gas and uh, I got a stupid Twitter notification that uh you know what, let me put my phone on vibrate so it doesn't make a freaking sound again. Okay, yeah, so it puts netherrack and fire and lava everywhere and spawns a bunch of gas. That's the Hellfire TNT. So, that's that group of TNT. This is probably going to be a little bit of a long kind of video, but uh, hey. Uh, so now we have the Vaporized TNT, the Ender TNT, which I'm not looking forward to, uh, to igniting. Uh, the Nuclear TNT... The digging TNT, the drilling TNT, the ghost TNT, multiply TNT, and the com uh, the cubic TNT, not compact. Okay, so the vaporized TNT, I believe, kills uh, kills mobs in the area. Um, not sure. But there are really no mobs, so I don't know. It's not going to do anything to me, because I'm not in, in survival, but... Uh, yeah, it, it doesn't really destroy anything, but it, it, I think, but I believe it, it vaporizes all the uh, mobs in the area. The Ender TNT will literally push me. It'll push any mobs in the area quite far away, so it'll push me right now when it ignites, or when it 
when it explodes. See how it just pushed me in the air? It's Ender TNT. It does. It's basically like an Enderman throwing you. Not that they do that. I don't think they do anyway. Okay. The nuclear TNT. Not looking forward to setting this one off as it may crash my game. But, uh. Let's set it off somewhere that we didn't set off the 500 TNT. So. Let's set it off right in the middle of this road. Right in the middle. Okay. Let's lag the game to hell. Let's go far away. Uh, it also, the nuclear TNT, actually, no, I don't think it creates as big, an, as big of an explosion as I remember it. I'm not sure. So I don't think, it does spawn nuclear waste everywhere, I know that. So let's see here. Let the lag commence. Yep, okay, yeah, it doesn't create as big of an explosion as uh, the 500, okay. I was thinking, I think I was thinking of another, uh, mod that had a nuclear explosion that uh, would lag the game to hell but <clears throat> anyway there's uh it spawns a bunch of this nuclear waste that if you stand on it you will get hurt uh if you're in survival obviously so the digging tnt will create a uh, i believe it digs a one a one block square but all the way down to bedrock i believe so let's test it out um so i believe it's a one block square Yeah, it's a one. It's a one by one, all the way down to bedrock, and it spawns some water at the bottom. Wait, is it? No, I guess that's not all the way down to bedrock. No, it's not. That's interesting. It probably depends on what level you're on. Uh, and then the drilling TNT is a bigger air, like square area, with water at the bottom. I think so. It's the same thing, but but a bigger area. Yep. See, like that. And it goes straight down. This one might go down to bedrock, actually, because this one looks like it went down deeper. But um, then there's water down there, so you can just hop down and not get hurt. Uh, the ghost TNT, I have no idea what it does, because I've it didn't. Whoops! Didn't mean to spawn to. It didn't do anything for me when I tested it out. Um, uh, but it's the ghost TNT. I don't, I don't know really what it's supposed to do, but I don't know. The multiply TNT will do just that. It will create a bunch of TNT. I think it, 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 whoops. No, let's not do that. Let's ignite the multiply TNT. Oh no, that's right. The multiply TNT will create, it'll duplicate everything that it, that it destroys. So if the drops will load in here. So when it destroys something like stone, it'll make two of it, I think it duplicates it. So it multiplies whatever uh, whatever that it breaks and it didn't seem to do that unless it's just lagging so but that's what it's supposed to do uh, the cubic TNT destroys a square area that's that's the cubic TNT see destroys a square that's what that does next group of TNT is the erupting TNT, the chemical TNT, the floating TNT, the freeze TNT, timer TNT, reaction TNT, animal TNT, and the sand firework. So the erupting TNT will basically create a volcano of TNT. It will shoot a bunch of TNT out the top of it. Like that. And it will do that. Now, for the chemical TNT, I believe it does... What does this one do? I, the chemical TNT... Creates a bunch of explosions. And lags the game. Okay. So that's the chemical TNT. That's, that's what that does. We have the freeze TNT, which spawns a bunch of ice everywhere, I think, and, uh, and just creates another winter wonderland. Let the ice spawn. Yep, turns everything to ice. Yeah, it doesn't spawn ice, really, it just turns everything into ice. See, look at this. This was a street lamp, but it's now ice. That's nice. <laughs> no, that one, that 
something melted over here. There's water. Okay, now the timer TNT basically randomizes all the TNT in the mod, and whatever TNT it was last on when it when the timer ends, when the timer goes off, it explodes on whatever that TNT is. So you may get a uh, 500 TNT, I, I would imagine. So it's the it's that TNT. It's just flashing, and it should change to another kind of. Yep, changes to another kind of TNT. And let me go away in case it's a bad one. Oh, it appears it's gonna. Okay, so it just exploded on a regular TNT. Okay, so that's what that one does. The reaction TNT. Uh, can't remember what this one does actually. Creates a bunch of explosions. Okay. So that's the reaction TNT. Okay. That creates a giant explosion. Okay, now we have the animal TNT, which spawns a bunch of mobs around. It spawns animals, basically. So let's go to another area because I'm tired of being in the same area. Okay, let's spawn animals on this rooftop sponge. <laughs> okay. So that spawns a bunch of animals. And lags the game. <laughs> okay. Spawns a bunch of animals and villagers. Mushrooms! Okay, uh, spawn. Okay. That's what it spawns. Sand firework basically shoots sand everywhere, I think. Or creates sand. Shoots up, explodes, and throws sand everywhere. That's the sand firework. Moving on over to the next group of TNT. So we left off on the sand firework. We have the floating island TNT, the TNT firework, the gravity TNT, the meteor shower TNT, the spiral TNT, the grove TNT, the inverted TNT, and the custom TNT, and there's also the Easter egg TNT uh, after that. So, the floating island TNT picks up the ground below it and whatever's near it and basically teleports it up into the air is what it does. So, we are gonna go right here, create a floating island. So, when it, when it explodes, it lifts everything up and puts it in the air. Creates a floating island. Might take a little bit for it to load in. Okay. There went off that explosion. And there, there, there. Okay, it seemed to just spawn a bunch of water. Okay, that's right. Okay, I think it destroys this down here, right? Or does it just copy it? I was pretty sure it destroyed it, but maybe it just copies it. Either way, it it copies it, puts it up here. So now we have this up here, this this partial part of the street up here, and there's a bunch of water falling down because it it picked that up like that. Now we have the TNT firework, which does the same as the sand firework except with TNT. So the it, the TNT goes up, explodes, bunch of TNT comes off of that and creates a giant explosion. Um, goes up, boom. That's a lot of TNT. And bam. That's it. Okay, now I think it's done. <laughs> That's a lot of destruction. Now we have the gravity TNT, which pulls in mobs uh, and kind of it pulls them in and pushes them away and pulls them in and pushes them. You'll see, you'll see when I stand next to it. But and then it, when it explodes, it basically it grabs any mobs in, in near it and uh, kills them. Basically, is what it aims to do. See it? See how it's pulling me around like that? And then it's going to explode like regular TNT, and bam! And you should probably die <laughs> if you were in in uh, in uh, survival. So now we have the meteor shower TNT, which is a literal meteor shower. I didn't want to place two. Meteor shower, basically a bunch of meteors everywhere. Okay, I want to stop the lag so I can fly. There's the meteors.
so that created a bit of damage. <laughs> and, uh... And this is the mall down here that I've destroyed part of. Uh, okay, now we have the spiral TNT, which... I uh, can't remember what this one does. Uh, spiral TNT, let's find out. Okay, okay, it it throws more TNT out in a spiral, that's what it does. Yeah, I really destroyed them all now. <laughs> um, yeah, it throws more TNT out in a spiral. And then the grove TNT spawns a grove, like a garden grove. It spawns trees and grass, I think. So let's put it right there. Ignite it, and it'll spawn trees. See, creates a grove. It spawns trees and grass. Uh, and then inverted TNT. Can't remember what the inverted TNT does. Uh, okay, let's see what it does. It didn't do anything? Okay, wait a minute. What? What did it just do? I. It. What the heck? What the heck? Okay, it creates a bunch of weirdness. It basically turns everything inside out, I guess, is what that does. Okay, the custom TNT. Uh. Okay, let's do the custom TNT. I think that just goes... I think it just cycles through the through the TNT. It's almost like the timer TNT. But it cycles through more TNT. And now we have the Easter Egg TNT. Okay, the Easter Egg TNT. TNT. It basically spawns melons everywhere, I think. It creates some letters there. BSMPM. I think. Anyway, it spawns pumpkins and melons everywhere. That's what that does. Oh, and it's it spawns more custom TNT. Or custom TNT. Easter egg. Uh TNT to create more melons. Okay, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> okay, now moving on. We simply have the dynamite to go through now, and then the TNT gods. So the dynamite, we have regular dynamite, dynamite times five, dynamite time. I'm not going to do all of them because this video is already long enough, and these dynamites do the same thing that the regular TNT does, versions of them do, but just it they explode on impact, and it's it's that's what it is. It's dynamite, and then let's get the fire dynamite. So the regular dynamite is like throwing a grenade. It's like throwing a, a, a sticky grenade or something. It explodes on impact. And then dynamite uh, times five is just bigger. The fire dynamite, bam. So uh, that's that. And then the TNT gods. We have the mountaintop removal, the mankind's mark, which is an awesome one, Poseidon's wave, heaven's gate, hell's gate, uh, the dust bowl, hexahedron, and the revolution, and then we have the uh, the chickexalub <laughs> after that. Okay, so the mountaintop removal literally removes a mountaintop. Is what it does. So I'll put it here. I'm not it, I'm not sure what it. Hang on. I'm not sure what it does on a building though. That's no. That's okay. It explodes, and it should remove the top of this building. and lag the game. <laughs> okay, the game crashed, and uh, now it loaded in. Holy crap, I went up pretty high. Uh, oh no, I didn't go that high, I just moved over a little bit. Um, I don't know what happened. Okay, it kinda reset everything to the previous point. Okay, let's not do that one again. Let's skip, skip to Mankind's Mark, Poseidon's Wave, Heaven's Gate, Hell's Gate, Dust Bowl, Hexahedron, The Revolution, 
and the Chikexalub. So, the Mankind's Mark is a really cool one. And let's see, let's go right here. The Mankind's Mark. Creates a building. Pretty cool one too. Basically it creates a base for you. It's a big building. Really cool. Okay, what am I stuck? I'm stuck on the fence. Okay, that's nice. Okay. So it has furnaces, crafting table, a bunch of space, beds, and uh, a second floor with some chests and stuff. And a balcony thing. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So if you want a pretty cool base in, in a couple seconds, there you go. Uh, Poseidon's wave will literally create a wave of water that destroys stuff. I, uh, I think it destroys stuff. It's, uh, oh, I already flooded this anyway. So let's flood it some more with a Poseidon's wave. Why is it placing two when I don't want it to place two? Oh, I can't just, I can't detonate it in water. I don't think it's not going to work. Okay, let's do it here. Basically, lightning. And creates a wave. Apparently, it spawns squids, too. Okay, destroyed some stuff and caused it to rain. And now it's a wave. Flooded that whole park. Okay. Clear the weather real quick. Make sure the time is at zero. And then uh, Heaven's Gate will, li I believe it lifts up, uh, basically lifts up everything. Um, the Hell's Gate will do the same, but it'll turn it to, to nether type place. The Dust Bowl, can't remember what the Dust Bowl does. So let's, let's find out. Uh, the Dust Bowl will turn everything to sandstone and sand, I believe. Okay, it's having a really hard time with this. Uh, okay, destroyed everything. And it should have spawned some sand and stuff, I think. Okay, it spawned some dead plants. What is this? Stone. Oh, I just took away my hexahedron. Oh, that wasn't my hexahedron. What? Oh, that was my hexahedron. I just replaced the revolution with the hexahedron. I'm confused. Okay. Well, anyway. The hexahedron. Go ahead and spawn a hexahedron. Woo. Cre it basically, it's the cubic TNT, but it, it's a giant square. Okay. And then the revolution can't remember what it does. It's pretty bad though. I think it lagged my game pretty badly. Uh, yeah, it spawns a bunch of TNT and it destroys a bunch of stuff. So, the Chicxulub, uh, or whatever you want to call it, I don't know what it's, how to pronounce that, will do what? What does it do? Oh my god. Spawns a bunch of meteors, basically. Okay, well, that's all the TNT, pretty much. Uh, if you want to check out this mod for yourself, click the link in the description. Uh, if you want to check out this texture pack, click the link in the description. And uh, if you want to check out this map, click the link in the description. And also, uh, smash that like button if you enjoyed this video. Sorry it is kind of a long video, but there is a lot in this mod, uh, a lot of TNT to cover. Uh, because, yeah, it's a lot of TNT. So, uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Go ahead and s hit that subscribe button if you uh, would like to see more. Uh, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.